Howdy there. Welcome to the underwater math farm. My name is Gasina. I live here in this beautiful pasture. We are always measuring up something around these parts. Today we will estimate and measure length. Here on this farm we use customary measurements for length. Inches, feet, yards, and miles. An inch is about the same as the width of your thumb. Go on ahead, give me a thumbs up and check that guy out. It's about an inch. A foot is 12 of those inches. The ruler you usually use to measure objects is a foot long. A yard is 3 feet and if you hold your arms out as wide as you can, that's about the distance of a yard. Take a quick look around you to make sure there's room and hold those arms out, I know you'll wanna. Finally we have miles. Now, miles are long. There are 5,280 feet in a mile. We measure the distances between two cities on a map using miles. Enough talking, let's get to measuring. Check out this pesky fly. He and his friends bother me and the other cows and horses all day. What is the approximate length of this fly? One inch, one foot, or one yard? What you think? Wake that brain up and decide. I'll give you a quick second. Did you say one inch? I hope so because that is the correct answer. One foot would be the length of a ruler. That's too long for a fly. One yard is also way too long. Whoa! Check this guy out. This is a huge metal cistern that our milk is put into to clean it. This guy is huge and holds almost 800 gallons of milk. Would this huge metal container be 10 inches tall, 10 miles tall or 10 feet tall? I'll give you a second to talk to your brain about it. Well, what did you decide? I hope you said 10 feet because that is the correct answer. The 10 inches is too short and 10 miles is way too long. Let me move on out of the way for this next one. Get it? Move? I'm hilarious. Anyway, look at this beautiful tulip. Tulips are my favorite flowers. I want to measure how tall the tulip is in inches. I will use my inch ruler. I'm going to line the zero hash mark on the ruler up to the bottom of the tulip. I can look all the way up to the top of the tulip to see how many inches tall it is. There we go. 3 inches. Let's practice some more. Why do I have three random rulers here you ask? You didn't ask? Well I'll tell you anyway. I am going to measure three tulips this time because I want to find the tallest one. Here are my three tulips now. The first one is trying to be tricky. It doesn't start at zero, but two instead. It grows to the four inch mark. Since it started at two and ended at four, that is two inches tall. Let's check out the yellow one. It does start at zero and grows up to four inches. That means the yellow tulip is 4 inches tall. And finally the pretty purple one. It starts at 2 inches and goes up to 5 and a half inches. Sneaky little flower, going to a half inch mark. 2 inches to 5 and a half inches is 3 and a half inches. Looks like we have a winner with the yellow tulip. It is the tallest. Here on Underwater Math Farm, we love to measure the length of all sorts of things. Keep practicing and you will become a measurement expert soon too.